Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I have eaten, I've gained sustenance really quick, and I've hopefully hopefully squished the cat enough that he will be content and stop meowing at me. Despite how cute he is, he's very- Look at this place. Oh! It's pretty fancy okay. for a survival book. So this is what I was gonna- th I was thinking, I thought Ted Farrow was pretty obsessed with, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, Egypt, right? Uh, pharaohs. So I was at first I was curious if the people from the east, the, the Quinn, had sort of modeled themselves off of like Ted Pharaoh wanting to be like a pharaoh. Oh my gosh, I just I don't know if I've ever made that connection before, but his last name is literally like phonetically pharaoh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> but they call themselves emperor, um, like the Quinn do, so they're not they're not calling themselves like pharaohs. Or anything, so there, the door. Let's hope I can open it from the inside. No, let's not. Let's just let's just not and say we did. Hang on. First, also, definitely looking at this stuff. Are these are these real or? Is okay, they are real. Oh my gosh, they're not even holograms. These things are actually carved like this. When, in the end of the world, who is he paying to carve Egyptian statues? Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? Well, mm. They're like contestants on a yeah. housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. Yeah. But Brianna, the hollow singer, oh, no. she's different. Mm. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. She doesn't speculate or gossip like the others. She knows something. I can tell. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Ah, uh, this is gonna, that's gonna go, it's gonna go so poorly for this girl. Oh, I feel bad. Also, I wouldn't trust any of those women at all. They literally did. They, they well, my he literally. I mean, he literally made a harem. Like he literally did, and like he got the kind of women who would be catty and like trying trying to do the actual harem thing, where there's like harem politics that are separate, but like sort of coincide with like outer world politics, right? Like, the harem tends to stay in, like, the inner palace type thing, but, like, that stuff affects what goes on in the outer political sphere, too. At least, from what I know of, like, Chinese, you know, dynastic stuff. Um, but, uh... Locked. But what about the main door? <sighs> anyway, it's literally something like that, where it's like he got, like, the only kind of women that would agree to do this probably were women who would be willing to like debase themselves essentially for like some man's approval and so but i can't also i kind of can't blame them if it's the end of the world they're like I'll, I'll act like however you want me to if i can live however for me if i didn't have my friends and family like i'd be like no deal i'd rather just die with my family you know but anyway ah good an emergency exit function Emergency exit. You should not let them in. It's a bad. Oh, he even has. He even has the onk there, the onk symbol, the eye. I think it's called an onk symbol. I could be wrong. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I need you to cease. I knew you could. Do oh yeah, because your life depended on it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Uh huh. Uh, uh, mom. Oh, yeah. Just like Ted Farrow. Yeah. Uh, yep. I am Farrow. Believe me, my essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations. No, I knew it. His soul is my soul. His will is my. I'm gonna will. have to kill this guy. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament. His deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my This grasp. is like some weird pilgrimage when thing. I, have them, I will be complete as he Oh, is. they're big. They're just a bunch of incels. I will have everything I need to save our homeland. And as Pharaoh did, the you, world. What? What stories were you reading? Yeah, okay. she has to know. 
I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is. Me. Hey, that guy's like, stop, stop. The renewer. Don't, don't say anything. Greatest of the ancestors. The man who saved I'm gonna the break world. your teeth. And you. <gasps> you are her. Pharaoh's harbinger. His assistant. His. Huh. Excuse me. <laughs> we will descend into Thebes together. He's gonna do this weird marriage ritual. Bring her the raven. He's gonna do a weird marriage Wait. ritual thing. As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear proper business attire? Business attire. Business attire. I'm gonna lose it. Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark the... I could kill all of you! Or what? Okay, it might be it harder. Said, so back that might make it harder. Above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. I honestly, no, I think we could grab this and then turn around and literally kill everybody super fast. This is, mm, this is frustrating. This is actually so frustrating. I could literally kill everybody in this room. Oh my gosh, she's wearing Sobex clothes. Also, I, I feel Excellent. very naked. Shall we proceed? Uh, this is weird. It may not be like a marriage ritual thing, but it's essentially like a like a partnership ritual where he seems to think, oh my gosh. I don't know if he's willfully misinterpreting or if they got like a Look hold of somehow place. the grandeur Dead Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's journal. Domain. Simply breathtaking. <laughs> Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh Get left his seat. We're gonna have to kill everybody. You're magnificent. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exits? Indeed. Let it be done. Yeah, so that way I can kill the other ones with us easier, fa <laughs> faster. I'm choking. I'm so angry. I'm choking. Um. Oh my gosh. Thank all this preserved for the I need you to stop. I can't tell if this guy's on board because he's like, a, you know, I almost said a toe licker. That's so crass. Uh, he's a, what do you call it? A uh, brown noser? <laughs> Uh, she was trying to warn me. Ugh. Honestly, I don't. We, I could figure it out. Like, if I could figure it out, I only could have figured it out. Function unlocked this door too. Like, why didn't we make preparations for this? Why did we let them in? We shouldn't have let them in. I'm very upset. Okay, to be fair, we couldn't get further in. I guess without. Okay, that's true. Pharaoh's visage, a monument to greatness. I'm gonna blow this whole place up. My seal. It's a monument to something, I'll give you that. He's got obelisks. It's interesting, oh, he's got, oh my gosh, he has like obelisks dedicated to his machines. And he, what, what in the world, what data were they getting that made Ted Farrell look like a freaking hero when everything I've seen is like, oh yeah, he definitely did bad things. Or did he just like misinterpret it somehow? Like, Excellent. Also, I feel like if I jump down there, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a fight. Those things are gonna wake up. There's some healing and supply stuff. I just kind of want to jump down just to peeve people, cause I can go down and they can't. Remember every detail of his bohai for posterity. Oh, I'm gonna blow it up. It will be its own chapter in your legacy. Oh, this guy is good. This guy is very good. Okay. I can't, we, sh oh my gosh. We should not, we should Why not. Palace, built for himself. We should not. No less than he deserved. I'm gonna Wonder need you to Pharaoh stop. Had a foot bath in here. What? I've always wanted one of those. You can't compare yourself. There will be no further discussion of your feet, Bohai. Yeah, I was gonna say, you shouldn't be bringing up what you want in this situation. This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna lose it. He's gonna make lose it. Oh, I'm sending it to my stash. I knew I recognized him, but he doesn't look, I don't think he looks exactly like Ted Farrow. Maybe he's a younger version. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there's an audio data point. Play. Brianna told me that Gregory hacked into restricted files uh. and found out something awful. That Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Gregory? 
kill him for discovering what he did? How could that be? Dad said there wasn't a mark on Krikori's body. His heart just gave out. He might, he probably pumped gas in there or something. I think that's what he did to the Horizon Zero Dawn people. Are you reading it too? If you are reading this, well, you, you can't think that any of this makes Ted Farrell look like he's in a good light. You know what I mean? Did it, is this the way we came down? No. Let me just make sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what these if these are supposed to be mosaics or what. They're not hieroglyphs. What an ear! I love the color scheme, like the gold, like the decay almost, like the brown and gold, like how close gold is to like the de the like the decay of brown. You know what I mean? And like how there is still some sort of beauty to so, it. Hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah. So hey. <laughs> This is weird. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Ah, huh. statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Very Egyptian. To have those on, like, guardian creations on display. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! I think he'd be fine. It's just us then. Honestly, okay. I think he'd be fine. We have no choice. Knocking their legs. Um. What? Have I not seen one of these yet? Oh. Oh. Ow. Ow. I um, just got thrown back into the car. I don't know what that was. The oh. I what are you, is this guy is he narrow I was like who's speaking where is he is he like up top or something don't let it hit you all combat machines killed nice uh oh, okay there we go hunter arrows don't let it hit you shut up I I actually want to kill this guy it would be very easy to do Oh, no ammo. I actually had no idea really what I was, uh... Why does it have so many arrows in there? Are those alves? Oh. Those alves? Jeez. I could, I could kill these people so easy. Like, I could kill those guards. Freaking, I feel like Murderbot. I don't know if any of you guys have read the Murderbot Thanks. Diaries, which I love. There's Overseer Bohai. We have decided to return to the church. A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no <gasps> delays. We must proceed. Did he kill him? Oh my gosh, does this guy want to, like, kill everybody who's in here? And, uh... Like, keep the data for himself? Oh, here. I should. I was pretty good with the bow, too. We are slowly reducing their numbers. If I could just... If I could just... <laughs> he did make a face. Ah, uh, but he's indestructible. That's unfortunate. Brianna didn't wake up this morning. <gasps> Girl! You're in trouble. Just like Grigori. You better... I'm looking up at the giant, hideous statue of Ted in the Great Hall. At his eyes. And I know now that he's watching me. Yep. I mean, what did you expect? Watching us all. There's probably nowhere in this building. He's always had power over us. I just never knew how much. Did you 
recover some data? A fragment. A, a testament to Ted's power. Ah. Why can't we just, why can't I just straight up tell this guy? Like, I'm, I don't think Aloy would, I don't know. Maybe she, I mean, she's trying, obviously, to, like, get what she needs. And maybe she'll do something at the end. But sometimes I am frustrated by, like, Aloy just, like, she kind of just goes along with the flow on certain things until stuff happens to her. And it's, like, that, that passiveness that plagues some young adult books, at least it did back in the day. And it still kind of does now with young adult female leads who, like, just, things just happen to them. Like, they don't, they don't, they just react to things that are happening to them. They don't take charge. They don't do anything. Like, The Hunger Games, I think, is a really good example where, like, she doesn't really do anything. She just, she just kind of, people tell her to do something and she'll do it a little bit, you know, but she's, like, really half-hearted about it. And, like, I don't know, like, I think Laura Croft in, like, one of, in the first Tomb Raider was kind of a similar where it's like, yeah, she made the jump to go to this place or whatever, but, like, any sort of hardships that came were just because she, like, fell somewhere you know what i mean like stuff happened to her and then she could only react it wasn't like her like making a decision necessarily anyway i find that frustrating when that happens when like it feels like the 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 female leads lack agency yes. in some way that looks like the way i can kill this guy i thought these were bodies again not bodies bodies i don't think so Dude, I have seen stuff like this in museums when I went to the, uh, what is it, museum in, in Berlin. Museum Island is what it translates to. And it's an island of six museums right off the, like, right there. It's like 20 feet off the coast or whatever. Not like the coast, but like it's on, it's on the water. <laughs> the little island, it's man-made island for the museums. When I built this place, when its special systems were designed. I'm going to lose it. I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. Uh -huh. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Uh -huh. Control. Over every possible I mean, eventuality. I can't blame him After too much. After all, you never know what will happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Uh, it wasn't that bad, honestly. Um, and you should share this info. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. I just have to hope that she has a plan. He's like inscribed his, his logo on like the pyramid stuff. This is super well designed though. Let's just, let's, let's be real here. Like, the devs did a great job on this section so far, you know? We've slowly lost guards. Uh, there's one left. I could definitely kill her, and I could definitely kill him. For the love. What is that? If that is Ted Farrow. A reclining throne. Oh no. Attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. Oh, he's gonna put himself in there. Oh, it's probably like a go to sleep permanently An machine. Impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Mm. Is the data lost to her? Yeah, totes. Ted's getting impatient. Also, so who's the dad of the teen? Oh, the scientist, maybe. That's what the, maybe that's who this is. <gasps> Are we trying to do the... It's the immortality thing! Oh my gosh, how can I explain to him that you can't really prove an organism has achieved immortality in a day, a week, or even a year? The question literally embodies the idiom, only time will tell. I have no idea how long his body will survive. All I know is that it will last a lot longer than mine. As far as the therapy goes, we've graduated from two steps forward, one step back, to two steps forward, one step sideways. With each treatment, his cells regenerate more effectively. At this point, I don't think they're aging at all, but mutations keep popping up, and each one has to be treated individually. So far, my strategy of pharmaceutical whack-a-mole seems to be working, but for how long and with what side effects? The irony is, I probably achieved more in the for the field in these last two years than the entire industry did in the last 20 but no one's around appreciated Ted sure doesn't these days he doesn't seem to appreciate anything Somtow, that's the scientist who is trying to help Ted achieve immortality if that machine is a pod with Ted Farrow in it they better I'm gonna I'm gonna be so mad if they don't let me punch it if they let Ted Farrow walk device, around if you will no I'm busy if they let Ted Farrow walk around for more than 30 seconds I'm gonna be very upset 
I never thought Ty would actually do it. I assumed the whole thing was just to scare me, to keep me under control, to show what he might do to Kanye if I stepped out of line or screwed up his treatments. It certainly kept me motivated. What does it say about me, about us? There's so few of us left and we're still keeping secrets from each other. Such terrible secrets. Never assumed to do what? Kill people? Ted Farrow killed everybody. Ted Farrow literally murdered the entire planet. With his selfish greed and his inability to look beyond himself. I could kill you guys. Wait, is that. Hang on. So I can walk into this. Okay. Uh, oh, I was like, oh, who are those people? You did this for him? <gasps> you put like. Off switches in everyone's heads? Oh my Kenny, gosh! You mustn't judge me. I had no choice. <gasps> if I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did you find a recording? Amy? <gasps> yeah. I'll share it with you later. I'm literally jaw dropped right now. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even thinking off switches. People had to get themselves implanted with off switches. They didn't even know what it was. It was probably just like, you gotta have like a identification chip or something to be in here. Oh my gosh. And how do you even do that? Like what? You just like, what? Like, I don't know, like sever the spine or something from the inside. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is the this is the immortality machine. For sure. Whoa! Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen. Did they kill him? Good cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Where is he? Where is Ted Farrell? There will be some stabilization after the next treatment. You guys better have killed him in there. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. You could just kill him. You could just kill uh, him. The early you? results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok. Or my old uh, colleagues. Or my old liquor That cabinet. was oddly specific. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kenya. He's like my old lab in Bangkok. In case anybody like happens to overhear. Did explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Sorry, really? I think I've been interrupting. Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. I'm gonna scream. It would not have been passed down to me. That's not how genetics works. Remember, he was the renewer. <gasps> the renewer, Ted Farrow. Stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death, but not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. You are for twisted. Us, for the Quen. And for his true heir. Yeah, I know. Me. Very obvious that you want to take over the you Emperor. Know, I'm starting to think you're right. Position. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. I just realized, okay, so I was wondering on the, the, the facial paint, right? I was like, I was like, I see like the, the rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, blue, blue, green, purple. And then like the trans like triangle up at the top, but I was like, where's the black and the brown in the in there? I just realized that is the like eye winged eyeliner, and I because I was like, oh man, why would they leave out that? Like I was kind of like a little bit miffed. Like I wasn't gonna say anything, but I was just like, why would you leave out that? Like those were added first, even before like the trans triangle was for like the contribution of like the the black and brown people for like this like like a lot of the queer movements and like. Um, Stonewall and stuff like that, you know, and so I was like that was added intentionally and like just because it's not rainbowy doesn't mean you shouldn't have it on the face paint, but now I see It's on the sides, so But like I said, I wasn't gonna say anything. Hmm. Is that a small office? 
For a minor functionary, perhaps? Hmm. If they didn't kill Ted Farrow, I'm gonna make lose it. I'm gonna absolutely make lose it. If he was still alive, to be, I keep thinking, I'm like, if he was still alive, this place would look a lot better, but he could be in some inner sanctum, you know? Like the actual Pharaoh's tomb type thing. But like, not a tomb for him. I swear, if I get, oh, I'm gonna be, oh, I'm gonna be so angry. If he better, I don't even want the chance to punch him. I just want him to be dead and I want him to have died a horrible death. Do I, did I hear like a radio echo? An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. I'm gonna... Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. This guy is incorrigible. He destroyed the entire world. Anybody else, anybody with an iota of empathy would have gone insane with regret and grief. This guy, all he could do was internalize himself being a victim in this whole situation. I am just, oh. Reactor report, reek, 50,000, lots of weeks, structural integrity, 41%. Efficiency. I'm not an engineer, but these don't look great. Condition nominal, 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 nominal. Uh, safeguard operational. Structural integrity low, yet core vulnerable. Oh, yes, core vulnerable. Here I come. I'm gonna blow this place to smithereens. Um, what was, what did he say earlier? Too. Oh, there was something that we saw. Oh, the renewer, right? When like I read that stuff on the Quen, like the little little landing pad, like the little landing area where the Quen were at, and I read that thing about like they're like I don't know whatever the saints or whatever that they choose to have, you know. Um, and freaking the renewer was blocked out, and I was like, mm, who's that? Oh, am I not? Am I looking for something? Is there something in there? Am I missing something? Hang on, we gotta get... Only two informational things. Ah, okay. Oh wait, not that one. Come on, please. For the love, I hate this thing. Bye, nerds. Battery, battery low. Shush. You, you hear that? I know I talk a lot, but there was definitely a voice. It could be a hologram. This music is so spooky, actually. Or is it that guy talking? Hey, I'll look for stuff after I finish looting all Ted Sparrow's stuff. Finding all the incriminating evidence that I don't need to prove how terrible a person he is. Wow, they've given me so much stuff. <laughs> Look at all these uh, freaking traps I'm getting oh, too. Maybe I can access Ted's files from here. Ow! Oh, I just cracked my neck. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh no, my controller has a slight drift problem. I want to change my armor right now. There. Omega clearance. Got it. 
What do you have to say for yourself, Ted? I don't want to hear what he has to say for himself. Sometimes dead. <gasps> Along with his kid. <gasps> Found him on the floor of his office this morning, holding hands. Oh, okay, they killed the themselves. themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life. And this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. Did they kill and everybody? I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Including the harem? Alone in bearing the burden. Uh. For the past. For the future. He is twisted. So it. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. That's exactly what I said! Was his <gasps> Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. But there's mutations going on. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. But he's mutating. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. That's not how mutations work. Time. And energy. Is he like some bio entity? Sometimes the reactor can give me what I need. <sighs> to grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. That's my face. That's my actual face right now. They're gonna need me. <sighs> my advice. He's in there. My guidance. He and then I won't be alone anymore. Has twisted this. So that him and Elizabeth are like partners in this. Like he's secrets. twisted it himself. Are they here? The ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Uh, Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. <sighs> He's going to get consumed. He's gonna be like, his biomass is gonna get consumed, potentially. At last, Pharaoh's ah. legacy is mine. And Ted wasn't content with just letting the world die and fading into obscurity. He has to try to control the future in some way. Huh. Uh. He has to try. Is that him. To like be a god to the new people. That's why he wanted the Apollo stuff to be deleted so that he could be the one who disseminated the information he Burn saw it fit. To ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down. If we could Kill just. Them too. No witnesses. We could just stop them. We could. I. I, oh, okay. Hey, stop that. I'm just. I. We could have. See, so this is what's frustrating is Aloy has moments where she's like incredibly, like, not like super powered. She's just very good at what she does. She's good with a bow. She's very athletic. Like, she's very quick, you know? I'm not saying she has to have superpowers, but one woman with a torch? Like, put an arrow in her knee, you know? Like, she's done, Aloy has done way more than this in cutscenes before. So it just feels like they've, like, in, this is frustrating in cutscenes when people get intentionally nerfed or they intentionally do stupid things or they intentionally don't do anything when they could have done something. You know? That's why I'm frustrated. Freaking. <laughs> let, let Aloy do Aloy things. Like, if she's gotta, if she's gotta do it by herself all the time, at least let her freaking do something like what have we done like we have fought back entire waves of armies before essentially like we fought giant machines and like you're telling me four or five guards are going to be a problem like i i'm just even just one putting an arrow in her knee would be fine and these guards don't see it they're like almost like fanatically devoted because that's the way they were raised probably but like the, the guy's gonna want to kill all these people too you know 
Anyway, I should probably call this one here. But thank you guys for joining me. I did not... Uh, but first, wait, hold on a second. I did not expect Ted Farrell, like, the mutations thing. I did not expect that to be a thing. Also, if they legitimately are letting that woman destroy what is left of Ted Farrell and not me, again, like I said earlier, I'm going to be angry. You can't just... You can't just, like give me the opportunity to kill the man that I hate more than anybody else in any sort of media ever. And then, like, not let me do it. I'm very, I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> if that's the case. But also, at the same time, I want him to die a painful death. And burning to death is pretty good, so... Anyway, this is a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Miss Galito, my sapling tier patron, and Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you both so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is the super bestest and the super greatest, and thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.